Hello everyone and welcome back to another education moment for the Children's Museum Houston. I'm Allie, the life science educator, and today we're going to be doing an experiment that you can do at home. And I actually received a question from Jen, our math educator. Jen, what are you curious about today? Hey Allie, Zona and I want to know why do apples turn brown after you slice them? That's a great question, Jen. We're actually going to be talking about that today and creating an experiment to see how to prevent that browning from occurring. For this experiment, all you're going to need is a few apple slices, some lemon juice, and some water, and a lot of time. So go ahead and get your supplies ready when I'm going to take a moment to thank our sponsor for today's video. It's Texas Children's Hospital. They actually sponsor our Power Science Lab where we do research with chemistry and biology and that's actually what we're going to be doing today at home. So let's tackle Jen's question. I actually did some research online and I read that scientists have already found the answer. You see, apples have something inside them called enzymes. In fact, enzymes are found in every living thing. An enzyme is like a very tiny machine. It can put things together or it can break things apart. They are sort of like the microscopic construction workers inside living cells. There are many different types of enzymes, all performing very specific tasks and functions, and they require specific environments to do those tasks. If it's too hot or too cold, too basic or too acidic, they cannot perform their task. And apples have an enzyme in them called polyphenol oxidase, or PPO for short. See, PPO is a machine that takes groups of colorless chemicals and sticks them together to form a new chemical that's brown. Apples do brown naturally over a long period of time, but when you cut open an apple, you break open or damage many of the cells and release a lot of those colorless chemicals. The PPO then goes to work, sticking them together to form that new brown chemical and a lot of it. There are ways to stop the polyphenol oxidase from working though. In environments that are too acidic, the enzyme falls apart and stops working. In this experiment, we're going to see if we can slow down or prevent that enzyme from turning our fruit brown. We're going to actually make its environment too acidic. We have three slices of apples. And the first slice, we're actually going to do nothing to it. We're just going to slice the apple right down and lay that slice down. I've actually labeled lemon juice, water, and nothing. The second slice, what we're going to do is dip it in some water. So you're going to take your second slice, dip it in some water, and then put it on the plate. Now, the last slice, what we're going to do is we're actually going to dip it in some lemon juice. So you're going to take some lemon juice, pour it into a glass, and dip it right in. I've already done that with this apple. And so what's going to happen is for that last slice, that lemon juice on its surface is going to make it too acidic for that enzyme to work. And if it can't work, it can't turn our apple slice brown. Now we're going to watch and see which piece turns browner at a faster rate. Which of your pieces do you think will be the brownest? You can check your pieces every 15 minutes for a few hours, or you can watch my time-lapse video now. This time-lapse video was taken over the course of a few hours, and as you can see, the two slices that were not dipped in lemon juice are turning brown. Awesome! As you can see, the piece that we did nothing to actually turned very brown, but the piece that was covered in lemon juice stayed pretty white. Interesting! So you can do this experiment at home, but you don't have to use lemon juice if you don't want to. You can think of other ways to experiment in preventing your apple to turn brown. Remember what I said about enzymes? 
if it's too hot, too cold, too acidic, or too basic. So you could actually do an experiment where you take one of the slices and put it in the freezer. Or you could take one of the slices and pour hot water over it. Maybe that will change the outcome of the experiment. If you're looking to create a good experiment at home, make sure you write down your question, your hypothesis or educated guess, your experiment procedures, and then your results. So for my question for this experiment, it was, what will stop my apple from turning brown? For my hypothesis, I said, acid from the lemon juice will stop my apple from turning brown. And then with my experiment, I wrote down my procedure. Dip one apple slice in water, dip one apple slice in lemon juice, and dip one apple slice in nothing. And then leave it overnight or for a few hours and compare the brownness of the slices. And for me, my results will be that the lemon juice did stop my apple from browning. Great job, everyone. I can't wait to do another experiment with you next time. Hmm, kind of tart.